All hail the king. Look at the trouble. Cause Elvis has entered the building. Who the hell is there? Crying all the time. Elvis Presley. In Elvis, Tom Hanks is totally unrecognizable as the icon's infamous manager, Colonel Tom Parker. Without me, there would be no Elvis Presley. Austin Butler plays the legendary King of Rock. Come back, baby, come. Come back, baby, I want to play what was the hardest part of capturing the essence of Elvis? Was it the dance moves, the voice, the looks? The combination of all of that, but it, uh, early on I, I, I was, I w would do these camera tests, even just filming myself in my room, and I'd see the moments when it felt external. And so for me, I realized that it's all gotta come from inside. Mm -hmm. And that's what it was for Elvis as well. He wasn't a dancer, mm -hmm. but he moved in ways that were absolutely extraordinary. So for me, I, I knew that it all had to come from that feeling of needing to move to music. So there was a lot of that, but then you have the very technical things of like, you want certain performances to be identical. S but if you just focus on the external, then you lose the internal. So it's that constant balance. I understand that you reached out to Rami Malek yeah. about this role. Yeah. What advice did he give you? At that time, it was, it was um, one, the feeling of knowing that Releasing yourself from the unrealistic expectation that you can make your face his face. And so he really helped me with this, the feeling of at the, the most important thing being your soul merging with his. Mm -hmm. And then something new happens that we haven't seen before. I'm gonna show you what the real Elvis is like tonight. How old were you when you first learned who Elvis was? To be honest, I don't remember a time in my life I didn't know who he was. Mm -hmm. Cause my grandma was a big fan, so I, I feel like I was a baby and she was playing blue suede shoes and hound dog and she was in high school in 56, so, so I was always in the house. So if somebody would have told you when you were young that you would actually be playing Elvis in a movie role, what do you think you, your response would have been? I'd say no way. I mean, I wouldn't <laughs> believe it. It's, it's, I still have to pinch myself. I just can't believe I got the privilege to get to do this. I feel so lucky. You gave so much to this role that after you stopped filming, you actually got really sick. It was about a week that I was in, that I was bedridden. And then, and then I had about two weeks after where I was pretty sick. Wow. Um, but, That's but yeah, I, <laughs> and then I flew to London to have to film something else and I was just going, I don't know who I am, I don't know what's <laughs> going on, you know? Um. Action. Director Baz Luhrmann, whose movie was 14 years in the making and filmed during the pandemic, knows why Austin was perfect for the role. He lost his mum at the same age as Elvis. It was almost like his part that he should play this role. There's a lot of people saying a lot of things, but in the end, you got to listen to yourself. I understand that Harry Styles was a contender. What made him not a fit for the role? He's gifted on every level. But on this, I think we both realized that Austin Butler, relatively unknown, goes and disappears into the humanity of Elvis Presley. You'd have to put your life on hold for two years. But Elvis's ex-wife, Priscilla Presley, had her concerns about Austin stepping into her husband's legendary blue suede shoes. At one point, Priscilla was really like, oh, I'm really worried. How can this young guy play Elvis? But after seeing the film, Austin won over Priscilla and daughter, Lisa Marie. Lisa Marie says that you definitely captured Elvis's essence. I don't know, did you get a better compliment than that? I really right? can't. I mean, yeah, from Lisa Marie and Priscilla, like, I, 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 I have no words. I'm so, I just feel so happy. I met Priscilla before I started filming, and uh, I, I met her right here, and, and um, after meeting her, because it's that thing where you're looking in these eyes that fell in love with Elvis and he fell in love with her. And all those years ago, I had done so much research at that point, so I felt like I knew her, but suddenly you're looking in her eyes. And it was beyond anything that she even said in words, it was just feeling her presence. And uh, yeah, I walked down the hall afterwards with tears in my eyes. Did you? Just, yeah, just going, Baz, I can't believe that I just got to meet her. It's really surreal. And Priscilla was also thrilled with Olivia de Jong, who portrayed her in the movie. Never met anyone like you. I hope not. You did have her blessing and support. Yes, that yes. has to give you a vote of confidence. <laughs> totally. For sure. Oh yeah. I felt like I could breathe again after three years when I heard that she loved it and was, you know, oh. giving her stamp of approval. I didn't really get to touch base with her until after we shot 
the film. And so I guess for me, it was really just about a lot of research. I read her book a hundred times. I watched all of her interviews. I chatted a lot with Baz and Austin because they were just such a wealth of knowledge. This ain't no nostalgia show. We're gonna do something different. Elvis is in theaters June 24th. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.